Often engineers are intrigued by kind of rivaling values that uh, that are difficult to reconcile. You, you want to do the one thing and you want to do the other thing, uh, but you can't do both. Um, well, sometimes designing uh, something allows you to do both, right? I want to walk outside, have some physical exercise, that's one thing, and I want to stay dry, uh, but it's raining, so I can't do both. Well, the invention of the umbrella is, is, is a way of transforming the world uh, by means of engineering or invention that allows me to solve a problem that I used to have which seemed to be, you know, unsurpassable. It's, it's a conflict. And an engineering solution, and Luciano said, was a technical fix. And if you tell this to philosophers, they will say, oh, this is not a solution of your moral problem. This is a mere technical fix. Well, I don't think so. And I think that many of the problems that we're discussing here are of that nature, that actually they're amenable to engineering solutions in the sense that they transform the world in such a way that we can have our cake and eat it. The CCTV camera is a good example. You're struggling with a kind of first generation stupid camera system which gives you kind of uh, uh, blurred images of the crooks and razor sharp images of the, of the innocent citizens. Or you have a second generation camera system which is better. You put it up everywhere and you have a lot of security but no privacy. Or you decide not to put it up uh, and you have a lot of privacy but no security. You want your third a generation camera system, a really smart camera system which, which does exactly allow you to combine privacy above a certain threshold level and security above a certain threshold level in your area of ideal solutions. Many innovations are like that. You have a good example outside IT but a very convincing one is you want productivity and economic growth and you want sustainability. Um, unfortunately you can't do both. But for example, the Germans had in, uh, in the 60s and 70s had this debate squarely on the table. You remember probably those images of the Green Party members who kind of chained themselves to this and that factory. But they had to deal with that tension between this economic growth and productivity growth and sustainability. And therefore, they are now market leaders in sustainability technology. Why is that? Not because they disregarded that, that problem, but they had to deal it because it's squarely on the table. And that is the motor, if you want, a moral motor for innovation. The third generation smart camera system allows you to, to tweak it and to have your cake and eat it exactly because it has fine granularities, advanced technology that allows you to, 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 to uh, configure it in such a way that you can have the functionality that the technology offers without the drawbacks. You can only reach that at a certain level of granularity of the technology which allows you to configure it. You know, ethicists would say this is a technical fix. I, I, I think that some of the solutions are, are there.